I've been exploring uh, the history of my ancestors. Um, some in particular on my Nana's line were called Kanakas, but he was brought from Maray Island in the South Sea Islands and stolen by the river fishing one time and brought to Queensland to slave on the sugarcane fields. So I have revived my ancestor's story uh, because I believe his individual story is also a collective, collective story. My dad used to bring me down here fishing. Um, we'd launch the boat off the boat ramp under the bridge there when I was a child. And um, so all the things that I'm doing are actually things that I would see when we were fishing. My designs are based around the freight trains and the traffic that goes past the bridges every day. Um, and also my designs, I wanted to be bright, um, with shapes just to engage children, like the one in the background, which is my son. I think uh, public art projects are fantastic. I've already had heaps of members of the public come in and ask me, um, say, ask me about it and um, engage with, that, with myself and other artists, so it's been really good and um, saying there should be more of it, so I think it's fantastic. Oh, they're good for everybody, I think not just artists, I think also school projects and um, everybody really. Anything to sort of, anything that gives colour, it just enables people to, to see different things. Yeah, generating um, interest and in, you know, inspiring younger people to be creative. Yeah, it's really good for them to see um, art happening around the place and um, then they feel it's possible for them. A lot of the general public have come up and had lengthy conversations about how wonderful it is to see some bright colours and see a bit of activity in the park. 